Welcome back, friends, to the Hobby Barn Basement. Uh, I apologize for the long delay on the Skymaster F-14. Uh, I don't intend on uh, making this too long. This is just a, a short update uh, to show some progress. Uh, paint and graphics work, cockpit work tends to be a little slower, and it's the winter doldrums. Uh, so I took some uh, time away from the more mechanical aspects, although I'll bring you up to date on where that is. So I wanted to give you a quick shot of the nose section. It is not quite complete, but the paintwork uh, predominantly is done aside from weathering along with most of the graphics work. The cockpit installation with pilots is complete, as you can see. I'm very happy with how they turned out. Uh, the heads are movable, so those are either going to get put on a random servo generator or, uh, you know, we'll go old school and tie them into uh, a couple of uh, channels. I haven't decided yet. I may do one with one and one with the other. Uh, next, as you can see, there's some uh, paint blending been going on on the fuse. It's not finished, uh, but I am gaining on it. There's a lot of work. It's a huge fuselage to do paint work on. Uh, in my last video, I had been doing rewiring and completing uh, servo testing, uh, I had mentioned having to CG the plane or get a good uh, sense of it. I have done that since then, uh, and I'm going to show you, one, the battery wiring. I did do what I had commented on. I know it's a little hard to see. Bear with me. But if you look down in, I did run that braided wire and put it in a plastic sheathing. It does have the aluminum tape on it run through the formers and then through plastic sheathing. I've got a few wires left to tie in from the ESCs, but they run into the main section. Now, the battery trays are not, they're finished, but they are not totally installed as I still have to have a, uh, some type of a, uh, a strap or system to mount the batteries. But they're here, as you can see, uh, two trays, one for each side. wiring and I have decided the air system uh, as I had mentioned in my previous video is going to go in here uh, along with the radio or the receiver and, and the accessories and of course farther in is where the uh, air system the gear control is batteries for the uh, servos and, and electronics etc so that's done um, we're kind of getting down to the nitty gritty, folks, which is why I'm doing paint work. Uh, and <laughs> there's so much of it. Uh, it's time consuming. Anyway, everything else has been redone. All the, the fan units have been replaced. And they are back in and mounted. The thrust tubes are back in and mounted. Everything has been tested and run up. The fans have been run up. Uh, the plane itself, functionally, is uh, power system-wise, is ready to go. Uh, so next, uh, once I finish the paint work and the graphics, will be to run the airlines for the landing gear and get that complete. Join the two halves of the fuselage in the uh, nose section. Uh, do another uh, temporary CG. Finish the, the mountings uh, for the batteries. So I have a, a permanent way to do that. It's kind of a, a wait and see kind of affair because I, I, the batteries shifted an inch or even an inch and a half one direction or the other made all the difference in how the plane CG'd. So I've got to know for sure once the air system is installed because that's the last thing. Although it's not going to weigh much, it's still going to have an impact. Uh, the beautiful thing about this not being a turbine model is I don't have to worry about the, the CG changing with the level of fuel changing. Once it's there, it's there. And then for me, if I'm unhappy with it, if it's too nose heavy or if it's a little too tail heavy, which let's hope that's never the case, um, I can adjust the batteries one way or the other to change the CG. So that's where we're at, folks. Uh, just a quick update. Any questions, please leave them down in the comments section. I'll be happy to get back to you. In the meantime, this is Dave with Hobby Barn, checking out.